This is Dr. Saad in front of you and today my topic is the chronic gastritis. But before starting this topic, we will be discussing a brief physiology of the stomach that what are the cells present in the stomach in different parts of the stomach so that it will be very easy to understand the chronic gastritis. So first of all, I am making a trying to make a clear diagram of the stomach so that you can easily understand about the different types of the cells this is simply a normal physiology of the stomach clear so this is the stomach and these are your different parts of the stomach for suppose this is your cardia cardiac region this is your fundus region this is your body and this part you can say it is the antrum and this is your last part that is the pylorus clear now i will be telling you different uh, which these parts they contain different types of the cells so that they will be easy to understand the chronic gastritis so first of all is your cardia cardia it contains the mucosal cells mucosal cells or it is also called as the foveolar cells and they secrete the mucus clear they form the mucus lining then we have the fundus and body fundus and body they contain two types of the cells number one are the parietal cells parietal cells or they are also called as the oxyantic cells these cells basically they secrete two th uh, things you can say that is the intrinsic factor and the hcl that is very important so these are the one kind of cells present in the uh, fundus and body second type of the cells present in the fundus and the body they are the chief cells chief cells and they are also called as the zymogen cells these chief cells or the zymogen cells they secrete the pepsinogen basically this pepsinogen uh, it is converted into the pepsin by the hcl clear then moving on towards the antrum this contains g cells and these g cells they secrete the gastrin clear now it is very important to understand the function of gastrin what is the function of gastrin basically it stimulates the parietal cells parietal cells to produce hcl means this this gastrin this is a hormone that is moving towards the body and the fundus where it uh, stimulates the parietal cells and uh, why it is stimulated to produce more and more hcl clear so hcl production uh, you can say increased by the gastrin then we have the last part that is the pylorus this pylorus it also contains similar cells that are the mucosal cells present in the cardiac region clear so this will this is the normal physiology of the stomach the different parts of the stomach and the cells that are present in those different parts moving on towards the chronic gastritis chronic gastritis it name indicate that chronic chronic means persistent for a long time means the mucosal uh, um, inflammation you can say the uh, inflammation of the stomach mucosa for a very long time for a persistent time that is called as the chronic gastritis clear now this chronic gastritis uh, what can the what can be the causes of chronic gastritis so remember one thing that the most common cause is the h pyroli helicobacter pyroli uh, it, is, it is a bacteria this is the most common cause then we have uh, those patients in those patients uh, where the h pyroli is not present clear so what is the most common cause so you can say the most common cause without h pyroli is the autoimmune gastritis this is the most common cause after helicobacter pyroli means this is the first priority this is the second it means that when the h pyroli it is not present then the most common cause is the autoimmune gastritis and we also have obviously other causes in others we have radiation may cause obviously then we have the mechanical injury it can also cause the uh, gastritis we have certain disease like the crohn's disease this we will be discussing in our further lectures 
clear so there are many other causes that can cause the results in the chronic gastritis but you have to remember the most common cause is aspirula and the second most common after aspirula is the autoimmune gastritis clear and we will be discussing these two because they are the most common and they are means they must be discussed so we will be discussing one by one these two now the mo most important one thing that the what are the symptoms of uh, chronic gastritis simply uh, in all the types of chronic gastritis we have nausea clear we have the abdominal pain sometimes we also have vomiting but rarely we have hematemesis clear hematemesis occur in the rare condition so this is a brief introduction about the chronic gastritis now we are moving on towards the first uh, most common cause that is the h pyroli so we will be studying the h pyroli associated gastritis or h pyroli gastritis clear h helicobacter pyroli gastritis this means s pyroli it is involved in 90% cases of chronic gastritis clear means in the chronic gastritis 90% cases of chronic gastritis s pyroli is involved clear now this s pyroli how it is transferred it is transferred basically by the fecal oral route clear it is transferred by the fecal oral root now basically what is s parallel s parallel is simply a bacteria a bacilli or bacteria clear so this is the helicobacter pyroli bacteria that we have we have studied in our microbiology also clear so this is just up till now you have to remember that it is a bacteria then we have the pathogenesis of this disease that what is the pathogenesis of this disease basically what happens that the aspiroli initially it or you can say mainly it affects the antrum it affects the antrum and in the antrum it causes the inflammation in the antral region this inflammation it causes the increased gastrin production clear this is you can see here right now that's why i have drawn this diagram so that you can not you may not confuse about from where the gastrin is coming from where what is antrum what which part is producing which cells so this is very easy it is affecting antrum here is your antrum what cells produce g cells and that produce the gastrin so this antral inflammation causes the increased gastric production what happens after increased gastric production obviously this gastrin will be causing the uh, parietal cells to produce more and more hcl so it may lead to the increased acid production clear it may lead to the increased acid production so this s pyroli is mainly affecting the antral region clear now sometimes sometimes what happen that lately after infecting the antrum this infection may progress towards the body as well as the fundus of the stomach so and what it cause it cause the multi focal atrophic gastritis now what is this multi focal atrophic gastritis basically in this there uh, the when the infection or the uh, gastritis in it further spreads from the antrum towards the body and the fundus of the uh, stomach and this uh, causing the atrophy of this region uh, causing the atrophy of this region what happens when the atrophy occur of this region of the body and the fundus so the parietal cells obviously they are lost because atrophy has occurred when these parietal cells they are lost so there will be no hcl production when there is no hcl production obviously in this uh, uh, in this means multifocal atrophic gastritis there will be decreased acid secretion so, uh, clear now if someone asks you that is there increased acid secretion or decreased acid secretion in the s pyroli gastritis so you have to tell that uh, it depends upon the severity if the s pyroli is uh, means per, it remains in the antric, uh, antral region there will be increased acid secretion why because of the increased gastrin production but if it is spreading towards the body and the fundus and causing the atrophy of that region it results in the multifocal atrophic gastritis which leads to the decreased acid secretion clear this is the pathogenesis of the h pyroli now we are moving on towards the virulence factor of the h pyroli that what are the virulence factor for the h pyroli clear virulence factor for the h pyroli 
वन बाय वन वील बी डिस्कसिंग नंबर फर्स्ट इज दैट यू कैन से हैविंग द फ्लैजिला इट इज हैविंग Flagella which helps in the locomotion in the viscous medium because in the stomach there is viscous medium there acid is secretion so that's why what happens it is having the flagella which help helps in the locomotion in the viscous medium then we have the adhesins adhesins obviously their name indicate that they help in the adhesion so they are, uh, this also have the adhesin proteins that helps in the adhesion with the stomach mucosa then we have the urease enzyme this is a enzyme what happens this is produced by the h parallel this urease causes the conversion of urea to the ammonia and this ammonia it causes the increased ph in the stomach this increased ph causes in or you can say increases the survival of the bacteria clear urease enzyme producing urea and uh, sorry urease enzyme converting urea into the ammonia this ammonia increases the ph and this increase in ph causes the increased survival of the bacteria clear so here is flagella adhesions then we have the urease and the last one that is the toxins clear that is the cytotoxic cytotoxic gene a clear now this toxin you can say cytotoxin uh, gene a what happens that it causes the progression of the disease and when the disease progresses i already told you that it may lead to the multifocal atrophic gastritis so the toxin lately when it is producing the toxin it will be causing the multifocal atrophic gastritis means involving the body as well as the fundus so these are the virulence factor four virulence factor of the h parola now we are moving on towards the investigations that what are the investigations okay i'm writing it here so what are the investigations that we will be carrying out in order to diagnose this first of all is obviously you will be finding the igs you can say antibodies against the h paroli you can find out that there will be uh, you can say bacteria or you can say h paroli in stool in feces of the patient and then you can also find out by the breath test urea breath test clear a patient may means uh, respire expire out the urea because of the uh, production because of the urease enzyme clear so this is the urea breath test so these are the three investigations that we will be carrying out in these patients now moving on towards the treatment that what is the treatment obviously this is caused by the bacteria so treatment will be you must know that will be obviously antibiotics first treatment and if if it is uh, means it remains in the enteral region and there is increased gastric increased acid production so obviously you will be giving the ppis proton pump inhibitors when there is increased acid secretion but when the multifocal atrophic gastritis occur you will not give the ppis because already the acid secretion is decreased clear now this is the treatment the last thing that we'll be studying is the morphology of this you can say morphologic features of the s paroli infection or gastritis so what is the morphology morphologic features that mostly this s paroli involves the enteral region mostly so there will be erythematous mucosa of the antrum you can say nodular appearance of the antrum plus the neutrophils are present in the lamina propria clear some of the neutrophils they invade the basement membrane and they become intraepithelial some neutrophils become intraepithelial while superficial lamina propria this lamina propria superficially it may also contain your plasma cells macrophages lymphocytes these are the cells that are present uh, superficially now one thing one morphology features feature means from uh, we have extracted from this you have to remember means if you are not remembering any morphology feature you have to remember one that is intra epithelial neutrophils 
प्लस सुपरफिशियली मीन्स सब एपिथीलियल सब एपिथीलियल प्लाज्मा सेल्स सो दिस इज द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कैरेक्टरिस्टिक फीचर ऑफ द एस पैरोला दैट यू हैव टू रिमेंबर क्लियर दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट अकॉर्डिंग टू द एम सी क्यूज पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू एंड ऑल्सो अकॉर्डिंग टू द मॉर्फोलॉजिक फीचर दैट इफ यू आर नॉट रिमेंबिंग एनी एनी मॉर्फोलॉजिक फीचर दैन यू मस्ट रिमेंबर दिस वन इंट्रा एपिथीलियल न्यूट्रोफिल्स एंड सब एपिथीलियल प्लाज्मा सेल्स नाउ वट हैपन्स दैट दिस इज इनिशियली अबाउट मीन्स इन्वॉल्व इन द एंट्रम समटाइम्स वॉट हैपन्स दैट द डिजीज में प्रोग्रेस एंड मूव टूवर्ड्स द बॉडी एंड द फंडस सो द ए ट्रोफी ऑफ द ऑक्जेंटिक म्यूकोजा दिस इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एड ऑक्जेंटिक म्यूकोजा ड्यू टू द प्रेजेंस ऑफ पैराइटल और द ऑक्जेंटिक सेल सो द ऑक्जेंटिक म्यूकोजा इट बिकम सिमिलर टू द एंट्रल म्यूकोजा बिकॉज ऑफ द ए ट्रोफी मीन्स द पैराइटल सेल्स दे आर ए ट्रोफाइड एवरी थिंग इज ए ट्रोफाइड सो द म्यूकोज ऑफ एंट्रम एंड फंडस एंड द बॉडीज रिजेंबल्स विद ईच अदर सो दिस इज अबाउट द मॉर्फोलॉजिक फीचर्स ऑफ दिस disease so we have completed our topic now what we have studied we have studied the normal physiology of the stomach and the type of the cells present in them we studied the chronic gastritis the most common cause the aspergillus where we studied about the uh, pathogenesis of the aspergillus the virulence factor of the bacteria aspergillus we studied about the what are the investigations and the treatment and the morphologic features of this disease so if you have any query any question you can ask in the comment section and thank you so much allah hafiz